The following video is sponsored by InstantMaddenCoins.com. The only place to get Madden Coins instantly on every console and platform is InstantMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again with another Madden mobile video and guys today We're gonna be doing something pretty big on the channel We're gonna be opening up 10 of the elite out of position player packs guys These are some of my favorite packs in the game They're basically going for you know like 200k almost to open up But you pretty much guarantee yourself a pretty beast ass elite player now You can actually take these players and turn them into a Deion Sanders or an entire Packers defense so it's pretty beastly to be honest with you. They've got a lot of really good stuff that you can do with this. Um, you know, if you if you're interested in that Dion, this is kind of the way to do it. You got to get 25 of these things, which gets pretty damn expensive if you think about it. But you could potentially pull some really nice elite out of position players as well now if you guys are enjoying these videos please do me a favor and drop a like on them i'm going to be bringing you guys some more madden mobile content here in the coming days and weeks if we're enjoying that content and i'm having fun making it we're going to continue to try and do that along with madden ultimate team throughout the year this year so again guys please if you're enjoying it make sure that you guys comment below let me know and stop on back and watch some more videos with me so thanks again guys now let's hop into it we're going to be starting things off here we've got a flurry pack to kind of you know wet our whistle just a little bit before we get into these elite out of position player packs i don't even remember what you get out of these things i just know you get to do like one of them an hour so i'm just going to open this up or actually i guess we'll just open it up real quick here like this open up the pack and we'll reveal all i'm expecting it's just going to be like snowflakes Actually, it's not. I didn't see. I didn't even know what was in these things. But it looks like we get like a whole bunch of silver out of uh, ultimate freeze players, and then we get a gold Tim Hightower. So actually, this is a way to do it. You could potentially do a bunch of these um, because you're actually you're gonna see in just a few minutes here when you open up these elite out of positions. But you get snowflakes. You can take those and turn them actually into packs like this, where you can get more gold players. So uh, and then you can even take the silver players and turn them into gold players. So. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's not a bad way of doing things. Actually, I, I, I'll be honest with you guys. I'm really excited about this promo. This is probably the best promo that they've done all year. I think most people would agree. Um, even though there's been leaks and things like that as far as the gifts and, and that kind of stuff, it's still a really great promo in my opinion. I'm not just saying that. I certainly don't get paid by EA to say that kind of stuff. But, uh, you know, in comparison to the other junk that we've seen out of a lot of them this year, this is kind of the move. So, all right, guys, let's do it. Elite out of position player pack. Now, if you guys don't know... These are packs that are going to contain players that are at a different position than what they normally play. Like, for example, there's a Big Ben Punter card. So, yeah, I mean, stuff like that. And in Mad Mobile, that card's actually pretty nice. So, yeah, let's uh, let's try and open this thing up, see if we can get some good stuff out of here, guys. I haven't really uh, had much of a chance to do a whole lot of these packs yet, but we'll see what we can pull out of them. We'll start it off slow on the first one here. So, you guys are seeing we get a bunch of these snowflakes that you can put into sets. And we end up getting a Kyle Long defensive tackle. I think that's kind of one of the worst ones that you can get, unfortunately. But even still, all of them are pretty much going for like 140 or more thousand. So, um, at least the last time I checked. So, it's it's really not that bad, to be completely honest with you. And uh, that's going to help our team quite a bit. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead at the end of this and just update my team with all the elite out of position players and see if it's, it's at all uh, better. It should be a little bit better because I basically don't really have much of a team yet at this point. So let's open up the second pack and see if we get anything good out of this one, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to go a lot quicker with these now. We're going to start doing um, the reveal alls. And we do get a Ryan Tannehill wide receiver card. Now, I'll tell you guys this. If you take a look at the, the card here, you're not going to see a whole lot of great attributes out of a Ryan Tannehill. Um, so that's a little bit disappointing. I don't think Ryan Tannehill is going to be that fun to use. Um, but he is an 88 overall. He does have 87 speed. That is absurdly high for a Ryan Tannehill. Like, he's faster than a lot of cornerbacks at 87 speed in this game with 90 acceleration. Are you kidding me? I didn't even realize that this card had that high of attribute. He has 90 catching. Dude, this might be the best receiver that I have. Aside from, like, the free Dion that they gave you, maybe. Sheesh. I, I, I'm kind of surprised. I, I, pfft, I'm kind of blown away, dude. I didn't realize that that Ryan Tannehill was so lit. All right, next pack, guys. Let's see if we can get anything good out of this one. Come on, give me something beastly. We get an Eric Ebron defensive end card. Ugh. That sounds like some trash right there. But it is 87. Dude, these cards are kind of lit. 87 speed? Are you serious? Now, he doesn't have great um, power moves or finesse moves, unfortunately. But, uh, eh. 
I mean, it's, it's not bad, to be honest with you. I mean, with that speed, it's, it's kind of decent. But, yeah, not the best card anyway out of the bunch. We're definitely looking for something beast out of these packs, man. We need, like, uh, one of, like, the Landon Collins or something like that. That would be nice. We get another freaking Eric Ebron out of this one. Are you kidding me? Back-to-back freaking packs, unfortunately. Not great. I'm, I'm hoping that we're going to get some more packs here, by the way, by the end of this promo. So that we can open up some more fun stuff like this, because... I love opening packs like this. I don't know if you guys are in, er, enjoy these types of things, but uh, this is something you can't really do on Madden console. Like, you just can't. I mean, you get coins. If you go on to uh, instantmaddencoins.com, you can buy coins on there, and you can basically get an endless supply of coins for the most part on here for pretty decent price, to be honest with you. So uh, if you guys are interested in doing that, like I said at the beginning of the video, be sure to use code CLICKWID. You do get a 10% discount on that as well. Um, and uh, that's a good way to get coins, to be able to open up these packs and do fun videos like this if you're a YouTuber or if you're just somebody that likes playing the game, man. It's definitely the move. Sweet. So we get a Tavon Austin, first card out of the pack. Now... Tavon Austin at halfback. So, uh, guys, if you don't know, Tavon Austin is one of the better guys as far as wide receivers that can take carries in the NFL. Um, he's kind of a trick play guy at this point in his career. He, I mean, we've seen him be a guy that can make a lot of receptions, but he's not. He's kind of more of like a gadget type player, to be honest with you. But this is a good, good ass card, dude. Like 93 speed with 94 acceleration. There aren't many running backs in the game right now that are faster than Tavon Austin. And we all know speed kills in any Madden game, but especially on mobile. So you can match him up and send him out on pass routes against linebackers that are just not going to be able to keep up with him at all. And he's just going to burn him deep. So it's always an option, obviously, coming off the edge with Tavon Austin. He's going to be able to do some damage. So that's a that's a beast-ass pull, dude. Definitely a nice pull. The only problem with Tavon Austin is that he has, like, the worst freaking, like, trucking and that kind of stuff. Like, he's just complete ass at all of that stuff. So you do not want to be doing any sort of, like, um, anything other than, like, jukes or just uh, trying to outrun guys. Don't try and do that because you're probably going to fumble. Even though he does an 87 carrying. It's not great, though, to be honest with you. 87 carrying is really nothing spectacular. So we're halfway there. Whoa. Living on a fucking prayer. All right, anyway, let's go th through here, see if we get anything good out of this one. And we do get a Doug Baldwin quarterback card. Interesting. 88 speed on this with the 86 acceleration. Those throwing attributes are kind of rough, though, to be honest with you. 83 throw power is not particularly good. The accuracy for short and medium is actually not bad. It's not particularly amazing, but it's not terrible. But that throw accuracy deep being an 81... That's not going to cut it, bro. That's just not going to cut it. Even though you've got the speed, Dougie B, I don't think you can be my running or my quarterback in this team, bro. We'll see. We'll see. He's probably better than who I currently have, to be honest with you, because my team just is nothing. So maybe we'll do like some sort of a um, like a shopping spree or something like that. So if you guys want to see a shopping spree, let me know in the comment section below, and we will go ahead and do that on the channel in the coming days. All right, next one. And we get another Tavon Austin halfback card. I think this one is actually probably one of the more expensive ones. I don't think it's like the highest end, but it's probably more than like the minimum at least. So that's good. We've gotten quite a few of the ones that are just like right at the minimum and we're losing coins on them every time that we do them. So um, this isn't the end of the world. It's not a terrible pull to Tavon Austin. I'm, I'm, I'm actually kind of okay with that. I, I'm, I'm all right with it. So, uh, yeah, nice. We'll, we'll definitely take the tape on Austin. Unfortunately, we're going to have to sell one of those because you can't have more than one of them. So, anyway, next one, next pack. Give me something beast here, boys. Donald Penn tight end. You guys don't know this. If, if you're somebody that's just coming over from Mad Mobile, all right, I got I to gotta quick do a little video for like a little explanation in this video for you guys and why I, just, why I just marked out so much right there for that Donald Penn. So, back in Madden 25 Ultimate Team, there was a card put out that was a Donald Penn tight end card, okay? Now, this thing was basically the most beastly card, and it was like, what, 70 overall, I think? Actually, I think it was a silver. I'm pretty sure it was a silver tight end out of position card. And this thing, obviously, the, the running game in Madden 25, if you guys don't remember, was really, really overpowered. Like, you could run um, any sort of, like, wildcat or things like that, and it was just ridiculously difficult to try and stop. So, uh, you would put, like, offensive linemen out there, like Donald Penn, and you could put him at tight end, and you could just do some serious damage. The guys would just get pancake blocked and knocked on their ass right away pretty much every play. So, what ended up happening is that one of the guys who was able to create a golden ticket by the name of BU Tweezy. Uh, he was one of the finalists in the Madden tournament that they did that year, the Ultimate Team tournament. Uh, he ended up actually making a golden ticket of this Donald Penn card. 
And guys, by the end of the year, I think I had like three or four of them rolling on my team. This was back when you could do more than one of the same card on your team at the same time. So I put like one at tight end, two at wide receiver, and I would just run the ball every single play. And everybody that had like cornerbacks out there, they were just getting knocked on their ass no matter who they had at cornerback. You could have had like Dick Lane. You could have had at safeties, it didn't matter, linebackers, they were just getting smashed by this Donald Penn card, because he had, like, 99 run block, like, 99 strength, like, it was freaking ridiculous, so, yeah, so needless to say, I'm a big fan of Donald Penn tight end, just for the nostalgia purposes that, that brings back to me, but, uh, this card's pretty decent, too, it's 74 speed, which, don't get me wrong, this is not a tight end that you want to throw to. This is the guy that you want to put in there on running downs, and uh, he's going to do some damage for you in those type of situations. You see the pass block, and you see the run block for him. He is definitely the guy to do that for you. His catching is actually pretty good at an 86, but the fact that he's only got 74 speed makes him kind of a liability as a receiver. But he can catch the ball if he's just ass naked wide open. All right, guys, we're down to the final two packs here. Let's make this thing happen, boys. Let's make this thing happen. Give me something beast here. We get another freaking Eric Ebron tight end card or a defensive end card I said tight end because that's what he normally plays but man that sucks that's like our third one of these out of just 10 packs so that's pretty miserable but all right we got one more to go here ladies and gentlemen we're hoping for that landing Collins. maybe a big Ben I don't think you can pull the Terrell Pryor I'm pretty sure that you can't pull that out of this pack not 100% sure though I know it is in packs right now if we pull that Terrell Pryor might have to call me an ambulance but all right here we go guys final one Let's go through it slowly. Slowly. Uh, here we go. We're getting close. Getting close down here to the end. Got a couple more. And... Bruh. Bruh. Another freaking Eric Ebron. So, like, four of our ten cards was freaking Eric Ebron. Unbelievable. Well, guys, that is... Uh, that's the, the, the team, I guess. We got to update the lineup here and see what we can go up to. So... We do update to an 84 on defense and 81 on offense. Um, not really anything particularly amazing here, but you guys can see here we do have like the Deion Sanders wide receiver that they give you for free. That's an 87 overall. And then we've got the uh, Ryan Tannehill right now is our number one wide receiver, boys. Let's go. We got some elite out of positions. We got the Tavon Austin here. I should try out this team and see what it's like. Just running like the all freaking out of position players pack uh, or team or whatever you want to call it. And then we've got the defense here. Uh, basically the same type of thing, but uh, you guys can see here. We've got like Eric Ebron and uh, the Kyle Long on the defense. We just, we just didn't get a great variety in this, unfortunately. We pulled a couple of the Tavon Austins, a couple of the uh, Eric Ebrons, a couple, I think we got a couple of the Kyle Longs as well, or maybe just one of those, but... Unfortunately, didn't get a huge variety of them. Didn't pull any of the really crazy stuff, but it was still fun to pull that many of the elite out of position players. So again, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do me a favor by dropping a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I will talk to you guys again soon.